How's it going? Morning, Kermit. What's happening? How was the trip? Long. Long, oh my god. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, now I gotta turn around and go right back up there. No way! Yeah, I gotta move Dennis's Sea Fury. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I talked to uh, I talked to Carl and they said, yeah, he called up there because he lost the engine at Reno and they said, ah, sorry, I'm going to I'm taking Kermit's Boeing down to Florida. So <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Oh my God, this is 30 year restoration. Oh my God. Well, like and I you told know, you, I hauled the one that was all twisted up. That was this one. I hauled the one that was all twisted up. That was this one. Yeah, yeah Buddy was the one that hauled this from Miami out to Roy when, after the hurricane. Oh my God. Me and him were talking. He was the only house in the neighborhood. Yeah. The only house there. Yeah. And now it's all grown up. It's oh my God. Something else. Oh my God. This thing is so freaking beautiful. Yeah, so you, so Jack, you've got something that'll fit on there. All right, good, good, good. Well, I tell you what, um, fits a 985. So, well, I don't know. What's up, man? Let's go. Oh my God, this thing is so freaking gorgeous. See what we got. Did you sit in the parking lot last night or? No. <laughs> I was up at Wildwood last night. Oh. Come on, baby. Let it go. Jack gets done with this, he's going to get a tattoo and he's going to use this for a nose ring. <laughs> <laughs> or an earring. I don't know which side you were. You haven't got the rental fee for that yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see. We'll, uh, so just basically start popping things off, right? Yeah, we got to pull this stuff out. We want to do it first. Well, we got some mats up there, Ken. Uh, we do. Uh, yeah. Here, I'll just give you these and we'll start laying flying wires out there. Huh? Your dad bought any more motorcycles? <laughs> yeah, just make sure the ends don't hit the ground. Where'd Eric go? I went to get some towels. Okay. Well, I thought we had all those. Oh, maybe those for the wings. He's getting something to clean your wings. Yeah. yeah. And some of those the pads that we've got there, mm -hmm. I'd go ahead and use some of those for these. And then we'll just figure out, and we can either change it later or figure out what we're going to do with the mm -hmm. wings. Because we've got some pads here. Okay, and this thing I'm going to give you some things that we found. Okay. He's doing all right. There we go. He's 80 years old. Does the hardware go with uh, Well, it probably goes with those javelins that I gave you. Okay, I think we want to get this out next. 
so let's go to the fork.
making a tail skid as well, so I need to ask him about that. That's a pretty paint job. Okay, so I, it's, I, we kind of want to tail it in, I think, so. Uh, it doesn't matter. Well, now we're going to put the wings on the floor. We think it's still there. <laughs> well, you've got some in there, but they don't have the ring on it. This came, that ring came with Tom's. Yeah, so much for a 30 minute unload. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we had a, we had a truck with a drop deck on it, it would have been easy. Okay, so we need some uh, cushions in there before I hand you these stabilizers. Okay. So we got something we can lay them on? Yeah. All right. Freaking what a great design. Stronger than heck. Light. We have roll around wing racks. Huh? 
What we'll do is we'll take this one, and once we get it there, we'll take this one and put it in the deal. And then we can find something to get Buddy's phone back. Well, so, hey, Eric, we're going to need another person in here. I got this. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, never mind. Now, you two guys hang out there. All right. Watch out, Ken. I'm going to send you Give it to those guys and let them take it out. Well, we can go flat once we get out to where they can reach it. Right. You guys get it? So when they drop it, the wing is flat. It's got, an, it's got some dihedral in it now. So when it comes out and they set it, y'all just lift it up slightly so it's not, okay? That would just help. Okay. So, actually, okay. I've got it. Just get, come on down, Jack. I got it. Okay, guys. Yep. Let's head on in. That's cool. Good. Good. Just stuck it on the airplane. Right. <laughs> <Interesting. laughs> oh man, can you imagine if it was between here and here? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. This one, this one definitely we're gonna wanna put the pack and have him move forward. Let me see if I got some drive. Oh no, there's right the towel's right in here. Yeah, but you don't want to wipe the drive. Okay. No, don't worry about it. It becomes part of the story. Roy wanted to do it, but now we're saying, yeah, for decades it was don't worry about it. I just, I just don't want to wipe it down dry. No, 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 no. no leave no, it no. leave it dirty then. Yeah. Here, then we'll move it out, put it on the pallets, and then, it, buddy, you just drive forward. Cool. It's a little heavier than that one, but it's still manageable. Okay. Yeah. No, we're going to put them on the forklift, and we're just going to fork the whole thing in. Really? Yeah. Okay. Is that wing incredibly heavy? Uh, Jack says it's not as bad as it could have It's been. heavier than that one, yeah, or it's heavier heavy. than the other wing, but it's not unmanageable. 
want to go for this now or wait? Uh, well, uh, that's actually a good point. Let's just go for now. All right, we got yeah. five foot between the caps. Yeah, okay. So, so we can leave these in here. Yeah, they can stay in here. Okay. Uh, I want to tilt back just a little bit. Tilt back. Oh, is it already all the way back? Uh, no, actually, let's just, no, it doesn't, that's okay, just go yeah. ahead and go up. Yeah. In fact, yeah, yeah, I, I would go right there, and then, and then we'll get it out to here, right. and then I'll get it out there, and we'll, we'll do what we have to do. And then got a buddy drive out from underneath it. Okay, that makes sense. Just for now, let's keep moving it and we'll set it on the deal. Alright, you want me to go out there and set the edge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it will. Still work out with that today. Oh, okay, now, can you tell us when it's in the middle? You can see it's right. there. Where is the middle? Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, here we go. A little bit more, guys. Right? All right. This is in the center? No. Keep no. Wait, no, that's not the center. This right. is it's between. The center. No. No, yeah, don't worry about that. Put it, can you put it between the fuel tank drains well, on close. the bottom. Look, Look underneath. Can you see like the, the AN fittings coming out the bottom? Right. I, I, they're just an inch on my side. Okay. Okay, just a little bit, about six inches. All right. All right. Okay, that's, that's good. good. Okay. So, buddy, you're out of here. Come on down, Ken, about uh, to where it's like waist height. That's good, that's good right there. That's good. And then just look slowly, we're just going to put it right there. Okay. And then you'll just back out and leave the pallets there. some lift. Okay, 
so we got this thing undone, uh, uh, you know, safely or whatever. And Ken, do you have a problem? Jack's been dealing with Roy out there. He's going to be the one that's going to have to sign this off. Mm -hmm. So you have a problem with him kind of leading the project. You've got other things yep. to do. Yep. Okay, cool. So just, you know, you've been dealing with Roy and recently and got some... Yeah, I got a, I got a list of things to check that, that he wants us to look over and some little things, safety wire and counter pin, and it didn't get done. So. We'll go do, we get to do that. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. stretch need oil, some some small stuff. Yeah, so. I I don't even know. Are they mechanical brakes or? Yeah, mechanical brakes, okay. but the struts need the, the, right, the struts right, right. oil. Yeah, okay, it was interesting. When I first got this airplane, the struts didn't work. And so what Frank Tallman's uh, uh, fix was, he drilled a hole through there and put a quarter inch bolt. <laughs> there was no shock on the deal. So you had to squeak it in every time. So anyway, so cool. So we'll let uh, uh, Eric maybe clean things up. You do an inventory. Uh, I'll let Roy know that uh, you know we got the airplane done safely. Yeah, I got a, I got a colleague. After we get everything in and parts set, then he wants me to call him, and then he'll go through with me. He said there's stuff that I can't explain why until you see the parts. So, okay. Cool. So I'll talk. To All you. right, Superman. All right. Well, thanks, and just Good let deal. me know what the deal is, and let me know if I need some help. Cool. Okay. of who is going to get airplanes when and as Roy you know got into his deal and he was getting behind and he kept thinking well let me do more airplanes which would have been great if they all would have been the same right but every airplane was different, different. some I got two ailerons some got four ailerons you got a civilian one seat two seats right. Navy Army blah 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 so basically somewhere along the line my two the, the P-12 and the F-4B, F4B right. those just kept getting moved to the end of the line. Uh -huh. And in the end, when he got the, 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 the ownership of the wreckage of the 100A Hughes airplane, he freaking pretty much all finished that before my last two air didn't get, even get covered. So I got two airplanes that aren't even covered yet. Uh -huh. And so basically, uh, you know, he's getting really close and you know, basically, when I bought the, the 100A, uh, we figured out everything it was going to take time and financial-wise with a padded estimate what it was going to take to finish each airplane. So, so I'm paying him, like, every six months that gets deducted from the 100A, but if something happened to Roy or something like that and he couldn't finish the airplanes, I basically just pay the balance minus what work's not been done right. and you know so my other two airplanes are still years away yeah that's what he said he yeah said he's closer on the red airplane than, than yeah than, than anything yeah so but anyway we'll uh we'll say i mean you know this is a this is a great first start be, um, be awesome to get this to sun and fun and uh yeah I don't you know problem with that my my <clears throat> my only my only concern is how much work it's going to be to put it together, then take it apart, put it in the trailer, take it to Oshkosh, and put it together. Why would I put it together at Oshkosh? I'd fly you it. You gonna up fly there. it up? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I did, either that or you know, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll just see how good it runs. No, 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 so we'll yeah, yeah no, we'll cross and, that bridge when we get there. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, of course, originally had a 450 on it. Yeah. Um, no, but, I'm not worried about. <clears throat> I'm just worrying about. It's a single seat airplane. Yeah, no, and, but if I went up there, I'd have somebody like go with me because you know, chasing. yeah, and that was the and that was the reason why I ended up deciding, even though we were going to maybe try and get it this this last Oshkosh, but it wasn't going to get done. It was supposed to have been done three Oshkoshes yeah. ago. Yeah, I remember that. So, but the more I thought about it, I thought, okay, I'm either by myself if I'm by myself and I'm flying down I-80 from Gardnerville and Reno to yeah. Oshkosh, you know. This doesn't have a starter on it except this. Right. Yeah. There's no electrical starter. Yeah. There's no now. There's no ADSB. So I'm flying around all these areas like Salt Lake City and stuff. Yeah. And I thought, you know, it's not worth it. No. Um, but it's not worth taking it apart and up there. If it doesn't fly up there, then I'm just not going to take it. Okay. You know, that's the bottom right. line. Good. So anyway, cool. Yeah, they can, they can see it at Sun and Yeah, they can see it at Sun and <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, we'll have it. We'll for see. That. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we'll just clean that up a little bit and uh, 
Doug Jack doing inventory. Jack's been talking with Roy over the phone, sending pictures about how it all goes together and stuff. And the reason this is so dirty on the top, Roy was concerned that we wanted it cleaned off for the video. But the reality was this thing's been sitting up against the ceiling with about that much room for <laughs> probably a decade. And uh, anyway, so we'll get it all cleaned up and uh, come up with a plan. So, I mean, this thing is not an airplane. It is an airplane, but to me, it is a piece of art. Roy did the most amazing job rebuilding this thing. He's got eight airplanes total, of which four are mine. Uh, this airplane was the first one that's supposed to fly. Knock on wood, that'll happen. Uh, one of the other, pre Jerry Yagan, uh, took his, uh, and he's got somebody else re finishing it up, but the reality is Roy still has to make ailerons and stuff, and they're not gonna be able to fly until Roy finishes those. Another gentleman, Jeff Thomas, up in, I think, Washington State, he took his airplane, so now three out of the eight are not at Roy's. Uh, Roy's hoping to get uh, the next one uh, flying Bill Allen, he's out of San Diego, and uh, that'll be the next one after this that gets finished, and we'll see, you know, knock on wood, uh, we're at Sun and Fun 2024.